What's up BJJ fans and of course the BJJ stands for Blind Judo Journey. This week I'm going to talk to you all about my goals for the coming year in Judo. So we all know that one of my main goals at the moment is nutrition and get myself to 73 kilos. And I understand that you guys watching me talk to camera for 10 minutes is not interesting. So at the same time as telling you about these goals, I'm going to make an omelette. So we know that Nationals is coming up next week. I'm going to be hopefully fighting that at 73 kilos. Omelets are super high in protein and they're very low in calories. So it's why you should make a breakfast. And my mom's here to help me. Say hi, mom. Hi. She's behind the camera. Right. What do we start by doing? Crack two eggs. So I've got two eggs. Where am I cracking them? Into the bowl that's near the wall. This Not that bowl. That's too big. I have really, really been having a great diet for the last week, two weeks especially after the disappointment that was my coach is telling me not to, which I didn't, make 73s last week. And hopefully we'll go into nationals, but be a really good fight. I actually am surprisingly not bad at cracking eggs. Uh, so my mum has just made a really good point that I've got a bowl here that I can put all my rubbish in, because we're going to have a lot of rubbish from here. And it's a lot easier if you put it all in one place. There we go. Yeah, now I'm going to wash my hands, because they're covered in egg. My second one of my goals is I have had 85 fights in my career up to now and by the end of the year I want that to be 100. When I originally made that goal it seemed like it would be difficult but then now that I'm at 85 to be fair that's probably only three or four competitions but it's still a good goal to have to make sure that I go to competitions so I can definitely get those fights in because experience and time on the mat is the most important thing for me at the moment. Add a dash of milk. Dash of milk? No, how much is a dash? Like a Just bit. a little. Just a bit. Uh, I like to feel about pouring things when you're blind, you can't see what to pour it. So I tend to put the lip of the milk just by there and then just here. Enough. Whisk it with a fork. Ah, fork. There we go. How long do I have to do this for Till it's all mixed. Until it's all mixed. Turn the omelette maker on. How do I do that? With the switch at the wall. So we've got an omelette maker right here, which is the best thing in the world and changed our lives. Um, so I'm just going to turn that on. Another one of my goals that I have is I want to get nationally ranked that's not in the visually impaired category that is in a sighted category against sighted people i'm not saying i'm going to be number one in the country that'll probably never happen or even like top 10 but i want to get on that national ranking list which means i need to get fifth or higher at a ranking event how are you going to cut some onion and fry that okay how do i do that you there's a, a knife no not that knife it's, there's a knife on the, on the chopping board uh, any particular way I need to cut this? You need to get the skin off. So it's uh, easier if you cut it first. Oh, okay. Like that way? Yeah. My next goal, I want to medal at a ranking event. I think I am at a point where I will be able to medal at the right competition on the right day with the right people. My best currently is seventh place, which I got at the heart of England last year, which was a ranking event, but I just missed out on getting those points. Now, if I get fifth or higher, which realistically I want to be getting bronze or even silver or gold, I will be really, really happy with myself. And also I've progressed a huge amount in my judo since a year ago. I am such a better player now. So I'm really excited to attempt to be on a podium at a national ranking event. In my omelets I tend to have cheese, um, a little bit of meat, so pork, uh, like uh, ham or bacon, and a bit of onion just for flavouring, and then a dash of salt. And then chop, chop the end where it's all husky. Yeah. <laughs> What's this husky mean? Well, Got a husk. <laughs> like a dog. Hardest bit about cutting is obviously not being able to see. It's purely on a feel. I've managed to never cut myself with a knife, actually. The annoying thing about filming this is that it'll be probably way better for the video if I do cut myself. But also, I really don't want to. <laughs> don't need to cut it. Uh, no. I'm doing it. It's got, to be, it's got to be authentic. Despite me being blind, it still really hurts your eyes. I've never cut this before. <laughs> I didn't actually remember that was going to happen. Ow. Another goal of mine is there is a particular throw that I have been working on pretty hard that I really want to throw someone with in competition. I'm not going to say on my channel what that throw is because it will, for people who watch my channel, it might give them some clues and might make them fight differently against me. And I don't want that, but there is a throw that I am attempting to do in competition. When I do it, I will hopefully bring that up on my channel. So keep watching. Get your pan. Uh, your fine pan. Where's that? Yeah. Put it on the ring. It's probably best to put it on. No, no, the one. No, down, further down. No, a bit across. No, a little bit left. That's it. 
That's it. So we use, because obviously you need some oil for frying, we use zero calorie spray, is it one calorie spray? One calorie spray. One calorie spray, so basically oil that is not filled with calories. It's one of the easiest substitutes we can make um, that I found through doing Slimming World. Just spray it on there. Yep. One or two, like... The spray. That's it. The right. snob near you. That one? No, 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 no. The knobs are at the end. Nope. There. Oh. Yeah. The first this, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Press it down and turn to the left as far as you can go. Hold it down a second. Now let go. It's on. Oh. Smashed it. Put the onion in. You can actually hear when it comes on. So I'm now going to cut my cheese um, with the same knife as the onion. So all of our cheese is now going to taste like onion for the next week. So I'm not using too much cheese because obviously the cheese is higher in calories. But I do need some level of fat in my diet. And it adds a nice consistency to my omelets. As you're doing this, Miles, you need to pick up the spatula and just push the onion around slightly. So apparently I'm supposed to push this around, but I can't actually see any of it, so I hope this is alright. I've just discovered that rather than cutting it, I can actually just break up the cheese, which makes everything a lot easier. So my onions are starting to sizzle now. That's a good thing. Yeah. So I'm just talking to my mom about the hardest bit about this is a lot of knowing when stuff is cooked is just seeing it. So I was asking her how long to take, and she's like, ah, a couple of minutes, it'll be fine. The nice thing about vegetables is it's not going to poison me if it's undercooked or overcooked, unlike meats. That's why we're starting on things that won't kill me if I do it wrong. We've got eggs now that I think about it. Now open your omelette maker. Okay, so we've got omelette maker now. It's hot. Ow. Pour your egg in. So nice omelette maker, I can literally just pour this on. This is probably going to be the hardest bit because I can't actually see the... Um, the... Pour half and half in each side. Up lower down, you need, to, you need to pour it near the omelette maker so it doesn't splash. So I can hear it going on. Put it on the other side now. The hardest bit is knowing when you've done enough. A, a bit more on the other side. It's a nice and thing about a bit more on the other side. The difficulty about this is I've got to, I'm going to have to do this enough times where I can actually do this on my own without seeing, without mum being here telling me what to do. Final one of my goals is I really want to win a fight against someone sighted who has full vision without starting on a grip. I've only fought twice like that which was at the British Nationals, because the, the sighted Nationals, because they won't let you start gripped there, which is fair. People's careers are on the line. It's the biggest competition in the country. And I got really close. I scored Bizarre on one guy. Another guy I lost on Hans Sakamaki. Uh, so it's qualification after like two minutes of goal and score. So I was really close. And I think with the right people on the right day, I could beat someone sighted now. One of the things I always find when I'm cooking stuff is that even though... I've put the same things in, in the same amounts as how my mom's done it. I tend to just not spread things around as much as... Yeah, put them on. in the left, right and side. Because she can see what has gone where. Which means that all of my food is the same, just worse. I have to fight very weirdly and it's definitely not something I'm training specifically towards. Then put your onions in. Hold it near, near the, the omelette maker, otherwise they're all falling. Someone's on the, on the, on the kitchen top. Okay, so what I've decided is next time I do this, Onions are not worth the amount of difficulty that making onions is. But if I get the right person on the right day, I should hopefully be able to throw them. And that would be a huge achievement for me, getting to the point where I, as someone who can't see, could throw someone who can see with no extra advantages to myself. Now I'm just adding some ham, which is kind of one of the easiest ingredients to add, just because I could just cut it up. Or not cut it up, and just rip it up and place it in rather than having to pour it. And then shut it. And then we just close it and wait for how long? How do you know when it's done? I look at it because a lot of the time, especially when I was a uh, lower grade colored belt, I was when I was beating people, it was often because they weren't as knowledgeable of the rule set as I was with starting grips. And I've obviously practiced that a lot. And even at the higher levels, I've obviously practiced hundreds more times of starting on a grip than people who I'm fighting. So it's it will be nice and fulfilling for me to be able to beat someone without being on a grip. So what I would normally do is figure out how long to actually cook this for. But I don't know that yet, so we're just going to wing it. One of the hardest things I always find about making things is that it's like 90% going to be as good as what someone who can see would make, but it's just not going to be as good, which is frustrating. You put half your onions on this, on the floor. It's so stressful. But you, but you can buy, buy grated cheese, which is a lot easier as well. To be fair, the cheese isn't the hard bit. I was quite good at cheese. Cheese doesn't burn you, and you don't need to cook. It's probably the easiest bit. I find it insane that people just cook stuff. Okay, so we've been about seven minutes, which is apparently about the right amount of time. So that's really hot. I don't like this bit. See, the hardest bit about being blind 
is that looking at all the really, really hot stuff and like moving around is not fun because the bit where I can't just touch it. So apparently I just need to like get, so I can see the difference between like the omelette and the edge of the omelette here. I think I just need to get a spatula under it and just. I get it in the corner. Why does it have in the corner? It's a circle. Yeah. I get it on the plate. I actually want better than I expected. Done? Done. Done? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's eat. So that's it from me. If you want to keep up watching my journey into international visually impaired judo, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sorry, my day.